I am the stone that the builder refused. I am the visual, the inspiration that made ladies sing the blues. I'm the spark that makes your idea bright. The same spark that lights the dark so that you can know your love from your right. I am the ballad in your box, the bullet in the gun, the inner glow that let you know to call your brother son. The story that just begun, the promise of what's to come. And I'm going to remain a soldier till the war is won. won. <laughs> Hello guys, what's up, it's 9 Volt Devil. just wanted to give you guys a quick tour of what I've already done, say hi to some folks, howdy. Anywho, so what I've been up to was, of course I was filling in dirt, digging up dirt, filling in ocean, yada yada yada, showed you the skyscraper at one point, um, ignore all this stuff, this stuff's old, I think I'll probably give a regional tour one day unless American Wolf beats me to it he's been going around recording people's regions um, yeah so old buildings like I said Asian girl and myself we've done all of this by hand uh, just the two of us and all 100% legit no um, no creative mode Pretty much gathered all the materials ourselves. So, ignore this unfinished road. I kind of work in spurts. If I feel like working in an area, I work in it. If I don't, I move on. Just keeps everything, um, <clears throat> I guess, fresh. Not, not, um, I get bored easily. So, things start getting redundant, I kind of move on. You guys didn't notice that, but uh, phone rang, I went AFK, I died. So, here I am, spawn of my region. Let's try this again. The only thing that kind of sucks is the, uh, the long walk to get to different areas. Um, I have been breeding random horses for my breeding stock and I've been I have tons of saddles so I've just been putting saddles on them and leaving them around my area just so that uh, if I get feel like jumping on a horse I jump on a horse but uh, most of this was um, ocean beach basically water and um, kind of changed that took about uh, 26 large chests of dirt and uh, several weeks to fill most of this in. Uh, that's uh, in the background Bro Jizzle's temple. It was kind of like a mini ocean in between us. As you see, ocean, beach, ocean, ocean. Yeah, so it was a lot of water. <clears throat> These, um, I like oak trees, like the bigger ones, a lot better than the, the smaller oak trees. So what uh, what I tend to do is, as I'm harvesting wood, I'll just plant tons of trees out, and I'll just chop down all the little ones, and wherever the big ones pop up, that's where they stick. Except this one is a little too big. It's going to come down eventually. It's kind of odd. So this is the temple that uh, Waging Girl did 90% of it. But, um, yep, it's pretty tall. I like it. Let's see, what else can I show you? Basically, I have the road going through the temple. Just, uh, I don't know. Wanted the people actually see it if they do indeed use the road. This building over here, last time you saw it, I was like, hey, don't look at that, it's unfinished. It's 90% finished. I still have a few things to do inside, but it is at the point where I can show it off, I guess. It's just another <clears throat> shrine. But, um, neat thing is Amanda was, or, yeah, Waz Wazzy, Wazzy, Girl, Amanda, whatever you want to call her, she was digging clay. I don't know why she was digging clay, but she was like, hey, there's clay, I must dig it. 
So as she was digging clay, she found one of Perceptor Teeth's random secret room treasure chests. And um, we basically made a room around it and closed it. Um, at the moment, it's not public, but I'm going to get with PT, see if he can open it up. But it had a diamond helmet, iron sword, some cake, some fish, some sponge, and an enchanted book. So if you uh, visit out here, make sure you pick up some loot. <clears throat> but um, yeah, the again, the the city wall. I didn't want it to make like look like just a random wall, so that's why I lined it with the sugar cane. Um, I was going to close this entrance off, but I felt that the more entrances I have to different parts of my area, the better. So, ignore those little cherry trees. It was just something I was kind of messing with. I don't really like the design that much. What I basically did was I grew a tree and I removed some leaves and I replaced them with pink wool. Um, <clears throat> one of Perceptor's kids, High Tech Ninja, had a claim over here. It was a small little claim and it had a little building. And since I was going with the whole Asian theme, I kind of asked, I was like, hey, do you mind if I spruce up the place a little bit? And pretty much gave me build rights. But yeah, High Tech Ninja's High Tech Ninja Academy. So. Gave me a uh, build rights over his claim, and um, I built him this. So yeah, here is your here is your ninja academy. <laughs> but um, so I have three builds on ocean, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, I had enough land, but it's. People have been popping up around where I previously had claims, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to claim this ocean, I'm going to landfill it, and um, worked out pretty nice so far. It's a pain to put all the land, <laughs> but, uh, yep, yep, I will show you some other, some more other area that I'm working on. Um, this was all swamp. And uh, I don't really like swamp. Can't really do much on a swamp. So I just filled it in. So yeah, the dark parts that you see are actually the land portions of the swamp. The lighter parts are what I filled in. Everything else was... Uh... <clears throat> but yeah, this is all going to be Asian village town type area. Um, just so it doesn't mix with the other stuff, there is a wall kind of surrounding it. Um, other people have modern type builds or contemporary type builds, and I just didn't want to mix those two cultures together, so we slung up the wall, and, uh, yep, so as last time that you guys visited this area... I was digging dirt, I was placing down some dirt, and this is the results of that. Uh, it's flat land. But, uh, yep, yeah, I dig it. I still, again, got lots and lots and lots of work to do, but at least I have a fresh palette to work with. The, um, let's see, where we're going. It's, I'm kind of torn. I kind of like. This is more, I guess, Japanese style. That red building is more Chinese style. Uh, overall, the Asian culture is freaking amazing. Their their buildings are very beautiful, so... I'm not just sticking to the island or mainland. Anything Asian is going to go in this area. But, uh, yeah, let me show you uh, one of the floors. All those trees down there, those are temporary. That's just a kind of a wood farm. Uh, only bad thing about building Asian style is it takes a lot of wood. <laughs> so, 
Alright guys, I am going to wrap this up. I'll see you guys later.